Hey guys, this is um, what is the tea for today, December the 6th, no, the 7th. All right, so if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check back tomorrow, okay? This is just the energies that I feel that are present currently. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. What's going on for the collective for today, December the 7th? The collective, what's going on? December 7th. What's going on? One more shuffle. Everybody's doing well. I'm trying to get used to getting in front of this camera, guys. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, oh, Ace of Cups. Hmm, happy. I feel like a lot of you did not, up until this point, um, like you were unclear about something, like you were feeling very like um unhappy within yourself unsure about yourself but today a lot of you are happy i think some of you have may have just gotten a promotion or a raise that you found out today Some of you have just started dating somebody, feeling very, very happy about that, about that connection, about that person, and it's justified. Yeah, before, some, something, you know, was not going right in your life. Something was not going right in your life, but, you know, God is stepping in and, um, you are ready to receive what you deserve here with the justice card karma balancing out so if something did not go well before whether it was in a job with in a relationship within your family um, things are turning around for you some of you are going to court um, getting a divorce but I don't feel like you know the divorce divorce is never easy but I feel like this is a long time coming for some of you um, for those of you who are getting a divorce it's like a relief it's like you're finding yourself again but somebody's still very very in love with you very in love with you they don't want that divorce. They don't want to be separate from you. I think a lot of you took, you know, it took a long time for you to get to this point. The relationship itself was a, a burden. The other person involved feels like the divorce is, um, is not what they want. They are willing to bear the brunt of the relationship, whatever it takes to be with you. But I don't think that you're I don't think that you're having that. Yeah, you've come to realize, um, you know, that you're probably just better off at this point with this particular individual being happy by yourself. You're just trying to get um, get yourself to a happy point, and um, you're following your heart. You're following your heart. For those of you who this is a new relationship for, you know in your heart that this is your soulmate, that this is a person that, that you want to be with. You may have chose this person over the person that um, you're actually divorcing. For some of you, I feel like the divorce from the other individual was the marriage itself was, was a marriage of convenience. 
you guys probably married really young and outgrew each other. Well, you outgrew them or vice versa, but the other party um, fell in love. They were really in love. Yeah, somebody's feeling very sorrowful. I feel like this is um, the person that is actually feeling good about the divorce. Um, it's feeling it's feeling bad for the other person because I don't think that um, I don't think that there is animosity between the two. I think it's more so that it was. It was something that started while you were really, really young and you just outgrew them because it was a marriage of convenience, but you still love them or they, you, um, and have respect for them, don't want to hurt them, um, but you know it's time for you to live your life or vice versa, the other person. Some of you are divorcing to, re to marry the person that um, you're involved with currently. And that's gonna be like a, a total shock for the individual that um, does not want out of the marriage. A total shock for them. Um, and it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad because I really feel like here with the Ten of Wands, you know, they're willing to you know, do whatever it takes to be with you, but there is really, they don't really know that there's nothing that they can do because I, I just feel like they don't know about um, the person that you actually are in love with or vice versa, okay? So here we have, we have Cancer, we have Libra Energy, um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, um, present in the reading. I'm looking at it to see if I can get anything else out of this, guys. Hang on one second. You know, I, um, Somebody here is is not going to take this divorce well. They're not going to take this divorce well. They're not going to take the fact that the other person has moved on. Um, I see somebody here possibly having a nervous breakdown. Falling into a depression. Now, and this can be you or the other person, but, you know, when it comes to communicating, try not to be hurtful when communicating with the other person. And I'm praying that this is not, you know, if this is you, try not to be hurtful when communicating with this person. Um, be truthful with them, but try to try to tread lightly because I feel like they're very, very fragile. The person that is not wanting to separate. Okay. So that is the daily tea um, for today, December 7th, guys. Take care of yourself. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.